Hi, uh, this is a really quick video on rim clicks on the snare drum. Um, if you're reading your drum music and you see a cross note head in the snare drum part, for example, here, um, then it's called a rim click and you should do it in a particular way. Um, you don't just bang on the rim of the drum most often. Um, it doesn't make such a nice sound as this. What you do is you pinch with your thumb and your first finger and then you lay your drumstick down on the drum, but you make sure that the he um, the butt of the drumstick, that's the bottom part, is rested on the head of the drum. That's the white part. Um, and you'll notice as well that I'm getting, um, I don't know if you can see from there, but my hand is also resting on the head of the drum. I'm still pinching with my thumb and my first finger. I'm gonna bash the, what's called the shoulder of the drumstick down on the rim of the drum. Um, when I do that, my three fingers that I'd normally wrap around, instead of being underneath and getting in the way, I'm going to let them rest on the drum head. When I lift it up again, I don't lift my stick all the way off, because it's not very stable. I keep the butt rested on the uh, head of the drum, I keep my, my hand rested on the drum, and I just lift it up this way. Depending how far up and down the stick I go, I get a different sound. Quite thin, it's a bit too thin if my stick's all the way against the edge of that end. I need a bit more stick, so I move in that direction. That's quite a nice sound there. If I go too far, it gets kind of thick and boxy again. So, I don't know, about there somewhere. Quite a nice sound. Lovely. Good luck.